All right, what's up guys? I wanted to do a little bit more with a, a big bouncy exercise ball for a couple of reasons. I, I've noticed in our Zoom classes that a lot of people have them. Um, and then also in my house, uh, you know, my daughter got one for Christmas and then uh, we just kind of keep it up on the first floor. And if there are people around, I don't think that there is ever not somebody using it for something and just getting a little extra movement in. Um, and we've been messing around with it a lot and, and I've got some good uh, martial arts drills for you to try uh, if you happen to have um, one of these. And I think some of the stuff I'm gonna show you would apply to any sort of ball. Um, so, check it out. What I'm talking about, if you don't know, is one of these, one of these giant things. This is about the biggest size. A lot of them are smaller. Um, and we, we talked one, one day, uh, I was showing you how you can work on your ball of the foot uh, kick placement here. But I want to show you a couple other drills today. And the first one we're going to do is we're just going to talk about kind of hitting negative space. So if I bounce this in front of me, right, I can practice throwing, you know, bouncing and throwing punches with good timing kind of in between. I could throw... I could throw underneath the ball and try to pull back before it hits my arm. And I could throw over, right? And try to hit, try to punch low, punch high, throw chops, throw palms, but to give it a good solid bounce, right? Maybe work on going under, over. And one of the things I really like about this drill is that if you are slow in retracting your movement, you'll get hit, right? So I, I could throw out a fast, I could throw out a fast punch here, but if I leave it, if I leave it out, or if I pull it back the wrong way or too slowly, that ball's still gonna catch me. So it helps to strike and pull in, right? Over the bottom or under, underneath the bottom or over the top. Uh, okay, so kicking, same kind of thing can be done. I like, um, Master Jason was showing some things about sweeping the other day. Sweeping is a real, uh, is a real timing, uh, kind of a timing intensive kind of a technique. Uh, Grandmaster used to do a sweep, a sweep on, on somebody just like right as they set their foot down from a kick and they were committing some weight to it. Boom, and then he could take them off their feet. I've had him do it on me. It's a lovely experience, um, but you can bet that his timing is really awesome. So uh, I want to show you how to start to develop that on the ball, all right? Here, I get the bounce going. I'm going to take my back leg. And you know what? Let's drop down a level on the bookcase here so you guys can see better what I'm talking about. We'll go down here. I get this bounce going, and I'm going to get really close to the ball and work on sweeping through this way. And that'll just help you practice with some good speed. One of the keys to that sweep, if you didn't see Master Jason's video, is just that if I'm going to, if you're gonna set your foot uh, down here in front of me, if I'm sparring with you, you're gonna set your foot down here in front of me and I wanna sweep your foot, if I can get my foot to hook around and then point the same direction your foot is pointed, then that'll be much more effective. If I just kind of pop it from the side, uh, it might not get much to happen, but if I can kind of hook and come back this way, um, you get a nice result on your sweep. So here, and coming through, and here, and coming through. That way, you could sweep, you could work on your backwards, Sweep. I never had as much success with that one, but really nice timing drill there. And then you can throw, if you want to do a high bounce, you could throw kicks under. Um, or if you want to get a good bounce going, you can work on throwing over before it comes back up to hit you again. All right. That's a really good one. Throwing round kicks, 
And then you can just kind of mix up some of your drills. Trying to punch under, pow, punch over, sweep under, spinning sweep, round kick under, round kick over, and break. All right. Another nice thing you can do that we found out just messing around with this in the living room is to strike down to create a fast rebound and then see if you can change your hand position fast enough to do a second hand technique. So for example, if I can, can I back fist and then on the rebound hit it with a chop. So I'm boom, boom, back of the fist and then open the hand. Nice coordination drill. Plus it's just kind of fun to do. We're going back up a level here. All right, we're here. All right, so I got this going. And so that's back fist chop. Pick a different one. Let's go punch. We'll go punch palm. Let's do hammer. Here we'll do a tough one. Hammer ridge. So that's pinky side of the fist, thumb side of the hand. That one's pretty tough. And that's just, of course, limited by your, by your imagination. Um, but I, I like that. Um, it's not going to, you know, if you have a bunch of delicate stuff in your living room, probably shouldn't be knocking all over the place. But, you know, they're very light. Uh, you can sit on them and roll around on them, and, and that kind of thing causes you to do a little extra movement, which is always good. Um, but then when you're practicing your martial arts, you can work on striking drills into the ground, or that ball of foot thing I showed you the other week. And you could also do striking kind of that negative space around the ball. And I got my heart pumping a little bit just doing that with you guys. So if you have a ball, uh, work on it. But I think the bigger message is, guys, you got all kinds of things um, probably in your house. As long as you're being safe, you know, check in if you're a kid, check with your parents that, that um, could be used uh, for training if you apply your imagination to what you're doing. All right, talk to you later.